in this lecture we're going to start uh, studying the organic uh, O levels reactions all the reactions that involve organic compounds and we're going to start studying uh, these reactions and start off with alkanes and let me give you a brief overview of what alkanes were alkanes were uh, they were hydrocarbons we have already discussed uh, and uh, learned how to name alkanes now alkanes were hydrocarbons that contained only carbon and hydrogen atoms and the second part was that they were they contained uh, only single bonds so all bonds in an alkane are are single bonds so uh, and this here was the general formula for for alkanes now I can give you a few examples of different alkanes uh, for example we can start off with methane which is C and it has carbon makes four bonds so we could be going to have four single bonds and hydrogen makes only one bond so CH4 has this structure we can I can draw the structure of butane which has uh, but means four carbon atoms so there would be four carbon atoms and the rest would all be hydrogen atoms so it's going to contain these hydrogen atoms and each carbon is going to make four bonds and all the hydrogen atoms are going to make uh, one bond so that is butane and we also discussed how uh, what do we mean by the general formula the general formula is this where n represents the number total number of carbon atoms in the molecule so for methane uh, n would be 1 so if n is 1 then 2 into 1 plus 2 is going to be 4 so h it would be 4 so so if you want to find uh, the molecular formula directly without drawing the structural formula you can use this general formula so this is ch4 over here if we want to find the molecular formula directly without counting the atoms the number of carbon atoms is 4 so n is equal to 4 and hydrogens would be n that would be 4 into 2 plus 2 that would be equal to 10 and you can count the number of hydrogen atoms in the above drawn structure and you will see that there are a total of 10 hydrogen atoms so that's how the general formula would work we will now start off with the first reaction of alkanes which is a combustion reaction so we're going to start off with combustion that's our first reaction so so combustion reaction now uh, remember the combustion is a reaction with oxygen with O2 it's a it's an extremely exothermic reaction so it's a uh, it's an exothermic reaction which means that it's going to produce a lot of energy and uh, which is why it's uh, which is why hydrocarbons are generally used as fuels because their combustion reactions are highly exothermic and lastly the products of combustion for complete combustion the products for complete combustion your products are going to include uh, carbon dioxide and water those would be the products of a combustion reaction of alkanes and what I mean by complete combustion is when you when you burn a hydrocarbon and alkane in an excess of oxygen if you if it undergoes incomplete combustion incomplete combustion means that you're burning the alkane in a limited supply of oxygen so the products uh, would contain carbon which is also called uh, soot it's the black substance when uh, something burns Exam for example if you burn wood the black substance uh, that uh, forms on top of the wood that is called soot that is formed when there is an insufficient supply of oxygen you'll also get carbon monoxide which is a very poisonous gas it's a poisonous gas 
the reason why it's a poisonous gas is that it combines with the hemoglobin in the red blood cells and makes that hemoglobin uh, redundant uh, or useless. So carbon monoxide uh, uh, causes choking, it prevents you from breathing properly, it uh, reduces the function of the red blood cells which is to carry oxygen, so there would be less oxygen being transported by your blood. And lastly, uh, even when incomplete combustion is occurring, some of the molecules are going to be completely burned, so you'll still get carbon dioxide and water as well. Now we're going to uh, try and write a few equations for complete combustion of uh, some alkanes. We're going to start off, let's, let's start off with burning uh, butane. Now butane is C4H10, we already, we already know what the formula for butane is, it's C4H10, it's going to react with oxygen and the products are going to be carbon dioxide and H2O. So that's your equation and remember all equations must be balanced. So we're going to start off with the easiest first, we're going to start off with balancing carbon. There are four carbons over here and there are four carbons, there should be four carbons over here as well. So it's going to be four CO2. Uh, next we're going to balance hydrogen, it's occurring in two places. So hydrogen is 10, so we're going to make this 5 H2O, that would make uh, a total of 10 hydrogens. Now if we count the total number of oxygens on the right hand side, there are 8 oxygens in carbon dioxide and there are 5 oxygens in H2O, 5 H2O molecules. So that's a total of 13 oxygens on the right hand side. So there should be 13 oxygens on the left hand side. So we're going to make this as uh, 13 over 2 because one oxygen atom contains two oxygen atoms. So if you have 6.5 oxygen molecules, so that would make a total of 13 oxygen atoms. So that's how you're going to balance this equation. So let's try and balance another equation. Let's come up with a bigger alkene. Uh, let's say there's an alkene which contains uh, 22 carbon atoms. So if you use the general formula, which is CNH2N plus 2, so it's 22 into 2, which is 44, plus 2, that's going to be 46. So it's going to contain 46 hydrogen atoms. Again, the equation is going to be identical. It's going to react with oxygen, it's going to produce CO2, and H2O. I'm going to try and balance this equation now. There are 22 carbon atoms on the left-hand side, so there should be 22 carbon atoms on the right hand side. There are 46 hydrogen atoms on the left hand side so there should be a total of 13 water molecules on the right hand side. Now if I count the total number of oxygen that's 22 into 2 that's going to be 44 and I have 13 oxygens over here so that's if you add 13 so that makes a total of 57 oxygen atoms. Now that's 57 oxygen atoms so O2 is going to be 57 divided by 2. I'm dividing it by 2 because one oxygen molecule contains two oxygen atoms. So 57, point, 57 divided by 2 uh, oxygen molecules is going to contain, if you multiply this by 2, it's going to contain 57 oxygen atoms. So that's your balanced equation. So remember, every time you have an alkane, it's going to react with oxygen. It's going to produce the same product, CO2 and H2O. The only difference is that, that each equation must would, would have to be balanced in a different way.